Hello, American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and in tonight's video, I found for you guys 10 classic cars from the year 1970. These cars are great daily drivers. I think they're affordable, and they're very awesome looking. Also, in tonight's video, at the end of the video, we're going to have the Fantasy Drag Racing segment, where I pit six subscribers against each other in three races back-to-back, and we'll see who wins those. It seems like it's going to be a pretty hit item for the show. I appreciate your guys' feedback on that. Also, we'll be announcing the winner of the 66 Ford Hot Wheels that we gave away in the last video. And we'll have another prize to be given away tonight that we'll draw for in the next video. And we've got the great trivia questions. So it's going to be a jam-packed, fun episode tonight. Stay tuned, buckle up, and let's see what's going on. Now, if you see any cars in this video that you're interested in checking out, all you've got to do is go over to this video's description. You'll find them listed in there. Look for the description under the video's title. Click on the word more, and then when the description expands out, scroll down till you find the car that you're looking for. Click on the link underneath that listing of that car. And it'll take you straight to the ad where the car is at for sale. Let's check out the first car in the lineup tonight, and it's one of two Cadillacs that are up for the offering. 1970 Cadillac Eldorado, listed in Sanford, Florida, for $15,499. Up for sale is a very nice, low-mileage, all-original silver 1970 Cadillac Eldorado Coupe, driven an incredible, original 23,361 miles. It is powered by the original factory 500 V8 front-wheel drive engine with a three-speed automatic transmission. This is a strong driving and great running car that will take you anywhere you need to go. This car has been garaged all of its life and has a rust-free, solid, and very straight body. The original paint displays nicely for its age, and the original red interior looks incredible and is extremely comfortable. The front steering suspension, the master cylinder, and the front brakes were replaced with new parts within the last year. Other new parts added include new AC components, such as a compressor, condenser, dryer, POA valve, expansion valve, evaporator, and new R134 Freon. All electric seats, windows, factory moonroof, and trunk pop latch work great, as well as all other electrical components. Asking for an incredibly low price for such a great automobile, $15,499 or best offer. And if you haven't done so yet, please like, subscribe, and share. It won't cost you a penny, but it'll help this little channel to grow. Also, be sure to turn on that notification bell. You want to get notified each time a video drops. So you'll have the first chance to get over and check out these cars before they disappear. Number 2. 1970 Ford Mustang Coupe listed in Decatur, Illinois for $9,000. Up for sale by its second owner is this beautiful gray 1970 Ford Mustang Coupe that has only been driven an original 31,000 miles. It is powered by the original motor and automatic transmission and is a great and strong running car. It makes an incredible head-turning daily driver or to take to shows if you wish. The beautiful custom gunmetal gray exterior paint layered over a super straight and rust-free body grabs attention wherever it goes. The original black interior is solid and clean, and the AC and heater work great. Extra trim and stripping are available to go with the car. The seller has run out of room and has nowhere to store the car and is looking to sell it at an asking price of only $9,000 or best offer and will consider trades. So guys, if you like Mustangs, especially low mileage one, here's one for you. Trivia question number one. What color of car has had the most sales throughout automotive history? Is it that bright red that always gets you a speeding ticket? If you know the answer, drop it in the comments for fun. We'll see what everybody's got to say.
Number three, 1970 MGB Roadster listed in Duncan, South Carolina for $8,500. Up for sale is this gorgeous red 1970 MG MGB Roadster that runs and drives beautifully and is super clean and fun to drive. This little car has been garage kept and well maintained all of its existence as evident by the pictures. The engine and manual transmission has only 300 miles on it since it was overhauled adding many more fun years of life to this car. This gloss red paint looks incredible with only very minor imperfections and goes well with the extremely nice original black interior. This car has a super straight body that is solid with no rust, and the convertible top is solid and works well. Dollar for dollar, you cannot find a better used, well-maintained 1970 MG MGB for this super low asking price of only $8,500 or best offer. Trivia question number two. What was the first year a car radio was offered as a factory option? If you know that answer, drop it in the comments, and we're going to check all these answers at the end of the video. Number four, 1970 Chevrolet C10 1500 regular cab pickup. Listed in Danville, Virginia for $8,995. For sale is this awesome orange color custom built 1970 C10 1500 regular cab short bed truck that runs and drives like a dream. This is a great daily driver project truck that you can drive while you finish it on out. It has a strong running crate 350 motor with an automatic transmission that has only 60,000 miles on it. Customization aspects of this truck include replacing the bed with a 90s model step side and for safety the fuel tank was removed from the cab to a tank on the 90 style bed. The original interior was replaced with a very nice custom gray color interior with bucket seats. The tail lights are not working but the seller has not had time to trace down that issue. All other electrical components work well. The windshield has a crack and will need to be replaced if desired. This is a solid truck with very minimal rest for its age but does need some minor body repair on the driver's quarter panel. The custom paint and custom wheels really display nicely, asking a low $8,995 or best offer for this 1970 Chevrolet C10 1500 custom pickup. Now the answer to this third and final trivia question surprised me, but let's see if you know the answer. The Oldsmobile Rocket 88 is considered the first full-size muscle car ever produced. What year did it debut? If you know that answer, drop it in the comments. And we're going to check all these answers at the end of the video and find out who got what right. Okay, guys, a little transparency here with number five. I did have a 1970 car lined up for this slot. But it sold right as soon as I went to publish the video. So I went back in and was editing. And I found a super nice rare car that I had to showcase it to you guys. So that you guys could see it before it got sold. So here's a non-1970 car for number 5. 1965 AMC Rambler 770 Classic Cross Country Station Wagon. Listed in Burlington, Kansas. For ten thousand five hundred dollars. Up for sale is this extremely rare beiged colored nineteen sixty five AMC Rambler seven seventy cross country classic station wagon, and it is powered by the original two eighty seven V eight with three speed automatic transmission that has an original 80,000 miles on the car. It runs and drives great and cruises easily at 70 miles per hour. This is a very clean, well-maintained, garaged, and virtually rust-free wagon that is rare and hard to find in any condition. It has all of the factory items such as power steering, power brakes, 
True dual exhaust and vintage roof luggage rack. The tires are in great shape. All windows and doors work properly. No cracks in the windshield and the rear window rolls down with the hand crank. The dash is in good shape and it sports a modern radio with speakers. It has blow by with low oil pressure that starts cold at 45 pounds and slowly lowers when it gets hot. There is a little noise in the rear end when decelerating, but it is a clean antique Kansas car with a clean title, asking 10500 or best offer. If you know a viewer that is a fan of the show and you're looking for a great birthday gift to give them, I invite you to check out the American Rod Shop store. You can find the link to the store over in the video's description. And in the store, you'll find great t-shirts, hoodies, mouse pads, coffee mugs, posters, and much, much more. All make great gift items. And the sale of these items goes back in to support this channel. Number six. 1970 Ford Grand Torino GT listed in Lawndale, California for $17,000. Up for sale is a beautiful red 1970 Ford Torino GT with matching numbers with 77,000 original miles on the body. It recently received a fresh restoration which included a rebuilt 351 engine with a new Holley carburetor, a new performance intake, a new exhaust system coupled up to the original transmission. It has also received a beautiful red period correct paint job that makes it appear like it came fresh from a 1970 dealership. The red interior has been fully restored and is awesome and comfortable. All electrical components work well. All glass is good. The chrome is bright and the classic rims have new tires as well. You could not afford to restore a vehicle such as this one for the asking price of $17,000 or best offer, and it also comes with a clean title. Now, guys, I've got a commentary question for you. It seems during my research that the 1970s cars really hold their value. Is that because parts can easily be found? Give me your opinion in the comments, and we'll check out what everybody's got to say. Up next for number seven is the second Cadillac that I talked about earlier in tonight's lineup. 1970 Cadillac DeVille, listed in Lockport, Illinois, for $8,900. Up for sale is a black 1970 Cadillac DeVille that runs strong, drives great, and has an original 90,000 miles on the body. This Caddy has had the original 472 engine replaced with the same type from a 1969 Caddy coupled up to the original automatic transmission. This is a great daily driver or use it as a cruiser to go to any car show or cruise in. This is a super clean Caddy that was undercoated and is totally solid with no rust. The body is super straight and the paint on it is glossy and displays well. The original tan interior looks great with no tears or damage and is complete and very comfortable. All electrical components are good and the glass is nice as well. This year's model caddy are getting harder to find and the asking price for this one of this condition is probably one of the lowest you will come across. Asking $8,900 or best offer. Okay, let's pause right here and find out who won the little 1966 Ford Fairlane Hard top hot wheels that we gave away in the last video we're going to go over to youtube comment picker.com put in the url code tap and see who won this looks like frog bones 1968 you are the winner congratulations frog bones 1968 you have seven days to contact me at american rod shop at yahoo.com and i'll give you the details on how to receive your totally free prize while we're in here, let's show what we're giving away in this video. This one is a 1929 Ford Salt Lake Flats Racer. Sharp little car. And here's what you can do in order to try and win this one. First of all, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. You must be a subscriber in order to be able to enter a chance in to win. Drop the number 29 in the comments. 
and enter as often as you like. If you do those three things, you'll be entered in an opportunity to win this Hot Wheels in the next video. Moving on to number eight, 1970 Jeep Commando listed in Choctaw, Oklahoma for $12,000. 1970 Jeepster Commando. Runs and drives. All new leaf springs, stock height, new shocks, new rear drum brakes, new front disc brake conversion, new fuel pump, new spark plugs, wires, and coil. 52,583 miles. Fires up just like that. Up for sale is this red 1970 Jeep Jeepster Commando powered by the original 225 V6 engine with a three speed manual transmission. It starts right up and runs and drives great. Having only 52,583 original miles on it, this is one solid Jeep and has the original four-wheel drive unit that works great. Lots of new parts and upgrades have been installed, which includes new leaf springs, new shocks, a new front disc brake conversion, new spark plugs and wires, new distributor cap and rotor, new ignition coil, new fuel pump, new battery cables, and the rear drum brakes have been rebuilt. This red paint is in decent condition and it still displays nicely along with a nice black interior. All glass is good and everything electrical works great. This Jeep comes with a clean Colorado title and the seller is not interested in trades. Asking $12,000 or best offer, cash only. And guys, I wish I could find one of these close to where I live at here in the south. Number 9, 1970 Chevrolet Impala Coupe, listed in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, for $12,000. Up for sale is this very nice green 1970 Chevrolet Impala Coupe that makes a great car to restore or drive it as it is for a daily dependable driver. This car runs and drives great, has no mechanical issues, and has had an original 67,500 miles put on it. It was powered by the original 350 Chevy engine, coupled up to the original three-speed automatic transmission that shifts out perfectly. The original black interior looks amazing and is all there and very comfortable, and the rear seat still has the original factory plastic cover on it. The heater works good, and so does the AC, but it needs to be recharged. The tires are almost new, mounted on classic chrome reverse wheels, Body-wise, the paint is decent and the body is solid, and the only flaw is a corner on the front fender that will need to be fixed to be in perfect condition. The seller is asking a reasonable price of $12,000 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Just a quick reminder, if you will, let me know what was your favorite car in tonight's video when the video is over, and let me know why. Drop that in the comments for fun. Always like to see what everybody's got to say. Number 10 is up. And don't forget, we still got the fantasy drag racing segment to go, plus the answers to the trivia questions. Number 10, 1970 Volkswagen Beetle listed in Arlington, Washington, D.C. for $8,000. Up for sale by its second owner is this red 1970 Volkswagen Beetle that runs and drives great and is a fun little car to drive. It has a shop rebuilt engine with a low 17,000 miles on it, coupled up to the original manual transmission. It has had disc brakes installed and a Hurst shifter as well. The original red paint is still overall in good condition, but has started to fade in some areas. The original black interior is still in good condition. The glass is all good and everything electrical works fine. Great little VW that'll get you anywhere you want to go, both economically and fun as well. 
a nice daily driver asking only eight thousand dollars for best offer for this 1970 Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, it's time to do the fantasy drag racing segment. I'm glad all you guys waited around on this. Got some pretty interesting races between six subscribers that were chosen in the last video. They're going to go head to head in three matches. We're going to see who wins what. In this first race, I've got Bob Flyman going up against Jaffel Salyer in a head to head match. We're going to see how each one of these guys do. Ladies and gentlemen, on the inside lane in the Pontiac GTO is Bob. He's going to be driving it in the far lane. You've got Jaffo and the Camaro. Both these guys are currently warming up their tires to see how it goes. We get them right up to the line here and get them lined up. We'll be ready to go racing. Okay, I think they're both lined up now. Just waiting on the Christmas tree to count down. And they're off. Bob catches a full air wheelie down the road. Looks like that uh, Jaffo may have accidentally misshifted. He's coming way behind. He's dropped off. And Bob takes the race at 9.1 seconds. Bob, you're the winner of the race at 9.1 seconds. Okay, let's review that race and see exactly what happened there. Looks like both cars are lined up, ready to go. And it looks like Bob got the start in the wheelie. And then you had uh, Jaffo looking like he may have slipped a gear or maybe misshifted. He just completely lost power there about halfway down the track. And Bob takes the win. Up for race two, we've got Ronald Reed and Steve Carber. Both of you guys can go ahead and bring your cars down into the pit now. On the inside lane, you've got Ronald Reed in the yellow 56 Chevy. And in the far lane, in the orange Camaro, is going to be driven by Steve Harbor. Both guys are going to be warming up their tires now. Try to get them heated for a better traction. Steve does a pretty impressive burnout. Well, and so does Ronald. And we get these cars back to the line. Whoa, and there tucked off. Both of them gets a little bit of a wheelie. They're going into the final run. All the way down the track, they're headed. And it looks like Ronald Reed is the winner at 9.01 seconds. Ronald Reed the winner at 9.10 seconds. Okay, let's review this race here and see what exactly might have happened. I think they're in the last second. You got uh, Ronald easing up there. Right about the time the light took off, both guys did a wheelie about the same height. But it looks like Ronald came down a little bit further down the track, getting more traction coming out of that like a slingshot, and therefore just went ahead and took the lead all the way down the track and took the win. Okay, in this third and final matchup, we're going to have David Gideon going up against Randy Sprague. Both gentlemen already in the pits are warming up their tires. We've got David Gideon in the black 55 in the far lane. And on the inside lane in the blue 57 is Randy Sprague. As soon as these guys get their tires warmed up, we'll get them on the line and get ready to race. Looks like we got them lined up here. They're getting ready to go. And they're off. And oh no, it looks like David may have jumped the light. Randy is still continuing on straight full force on down the lane, but David's now playing it kind of safe, kind of backing off, not trying to damage his car any more than he might. Winner is Randy Sprague. Randy Sprague, you're the winner at 10.9 seconds. 10.9 seconds, Randy. Let's review what happened here. Both cars are lined up on the light, and as soon as the light Car starts coming down. It appears that David may have jumped the light right there. Either way, that cost him the race, and Randy won by default. That concludes the Fantasy Drag Race segment. I hope you enjoyed that. In the next race event, coming up in the next video or two, we've got Pat G versus Forever You. 
Joseph Adkins versus CDR George, and Dad's Restorations versus Timothy Tennell in the next upcoming race. Okay, here are your answers to the trivia questions. How well did you do? Answer number one, the most color purchased in car automotive history for cars is the color white. Number two, 1930 was the first year that factories offered the option for a car radio. And number three, what year did the very first muscle car be introduced, which was an Oldsmobile Rocket 88? That was 1949. Hope you guys did well on all of these. Now, if you didn't find your dream car in the video tonight, I suggest that you check out these other great videos of mine that's been posted. Still a lot of cars in those videos for sale, like this one, 10 affordable classic cars that we posted in the last video. Check it out. Your dream car might be in there. Well, guys, that wraps up another video. I appreciate so much you joining me here tonight. God bless each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.